Halloween Kills is directed by David Gordon Green and stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, Andy Matichak, Nick Castle, Will Patton, and a few others. And the journey continues into the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode as it continues into the next thrilling chapter of the Halloween series. So, after seeing this, a thought occurred to me, and that thought was simply, why is it every Halloween part two seems to suffer the same fate? Because, you know, I'm thinking all the way back to the beginning. I actually like, of course, love, actually, the first two Halloween films, the two original Halloween films. But let's face it, the second is not as great as the first. Then we have the Rob Zombie remake. And the first one is, it's actually really good in my opinion. The second one was, I don't know what that was. And we fast forward once again, and we had a Halloween in 2018, I believe it was. And everybody got super excited for the return of Michael Myers and David Gordon Green and his entire creative team. They did such a wonderful job of bringing Michael back to the screen and everybody was so pumped for the follow up. You know, we're finally going to see Laurie Strode deal with Michael in the way he deserves to be dealt with and they took away all of the nonsense that has bogged this franchise down all the weird supernatural stuff and here we are with Halloween kills and all of the messes back so let's get into it and I'll start by saying I still I like visually I like the look of this film a lot I did um, even though I didn't get as much of what I wanted out of it the visuals worked for me the kills worked for me just on a simplistic horror loving level you know and Michael Myers here if he does have this sense of he's completely unstoppable and you buy into it even though you know this is just some old dude in a mask who I don't know how he managed to stay still so fit in prison or in the asylum you know maybe this guy was doing chin-ups on a daily basis I don't know what it was but you know that strength that brutality it really comes through Nick Castle does a fantastic job I know he probably didn't do the more uh, physical physical stuff but the menace that menace is there and it really comes through in such a big way so props for that now everything else <laughs> so here's my issues with this damn movie guys and it really comes down to how messy this film feels it's like you threw everything at it and this film is one of those movies that once again has fallen victim to nostalgia they want you to be so Especially when I say B, uh, when I say you, I mean the fans, the, the, the original OG Halloween fans. They want to suck these people in so tightly that they reach for every single piece of nostalgia and be like, hey, that is supposed to be this character. This is supposed to be Tommy. That's supposed to be this character. This person survived from way back when. And they want to put that in there so hard. They want to fit that square peg into that round hole. And it's just not working now props for the visuals props for that whole sequence where they go back into the past and they fit past footage into present day footage it's very well done you know it was absolutely best like one of the best things about the film whether it works or not i mean you're gonna have to, i'm gonna have to sit down and really dissect that and not the biggest Halloween fan in the franchise I'm a Friday the 13th gal but I think it worked really well I think it does fit but put that cool thing aside that whole idea aside then you come forward and you have so many people involved in this and it just feels like a mess and the editing is so messy and we jump from scene to scene in ways that don't feel cohesive and it's just I'm sitting there and I'm watching this movie and I'm like what the hell 
Who am I supposed to be rooting for? And I get the concept that they're going for. I really do. Now, like I said, I'm a Friday the 13th fan. And one of the reasons I really have always loved that series, good, bad, terrible, whatever is in between, is the simplicity of Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees is an undead creature. So he can be stabbed, he can be hanged, he can be burnt, he can be buried, he's gonna come back. And I can believe he can come back because it's, it's like a curse. It's an undead zombie curse, nightmare, mama's boy, everything in one. And it works because for me, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I've always had a problem with the Michael Myers part of it. And I know it comes from the fact that Halloween was never meant to be the sequential Michael Myers story. You can tell. The problem being Michael Myers is supposed to be human. He's not supposed to be able to be shot six million times and then get back up. And they, I dug that Seth and David, uh, sorry, Danny, sorry, I don't know why I went Seth, Danny McBride and David Gordon Green, they tried to fix that in the first movie and I was so happy with that. I was like, I can live with this because this makes sense to me. Now they come and they completely flip the script. And there's nothing more I hate than a, a movie, a television series, whatever, that establishes rules and then breaks those rules. You start by removing scenes where he was shot multiple times. He said instead he was captured. So we understand how this man survived. I can buy into that. I can buy into the fact that this is a really evil person and he is brutal and he's strong and because he doesn't hold back that brutality it just it comes through it seems like super strength you know what if you went up against somebody who doesn't hold back that person would seem terrifying you know but here you come and now it's this whole he's not a man thing again he's evil epitomized he's evil incarnate he cannot be destroyed violence begets violence blah 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 i didn't want to go down this road again i wanted a straightforward slasher that i could enjoy and i absolutely wanted for the love of mm, to finally see jamie lee curtis aka laurie strode get revenge on this bastard just 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 please can we just wrap that up can we just finally have these two titans of horror just fight it out and even if they both have to die that could work can we wrap her story up for crying out loud why is this being dragged on and on and yes i know there's another movie but they already got the entire tongue involved and every survivor from every Halloween film is going to be popping up. And it's, it's too much. I don't need all of this. I just want to be all snuggled up and enjoying a straightforward slasher. I miss straightforward slashers, guys, don't you? You know, it's just a crazy killer, a bunch of kids. And I mean, yeah, you can't just go that way i get that because it's been done before and they want to do something a little different but this felt so much to me like a cash grab it didn't feel like a story that they took their time and came up with this concept and this can work and this is it felt like you know what we made so much money we can't kill michael myers which was the initial plan so let's change this around and say that this dude is not human he's something supernatural he's evil incarnate and we're gonna change this entire world we created in normal everyday neighborhood that it could exist anywhere in the world and we're gonna say no because michael myers is a curse on haddonfield and that curse is affecting the people and it's bringing out this violence and this rage and that rage is what feeds Michael Myers. And oh my God, I am not buying into this bullcrap, guys. I'm really not. 
I'm sorry. Halloween Kills is on average a 5 out of 10 for me. I cannot get past how messy this movie is. And I'm not blaming the actors. I mean, you could tell the past actors were happy to be back at it. You could tell Jamie Lee is still trying to deliver something awesome as Laurie Strode. I had, every time she was on screen, I, I was focused on her completely. I was into what she was doing. As for her granddaughter and her daughter, eh, I, I honestly, I mean, I was into the, I like the aspect of her, the, the, the idea of her and her daughter. I really do. The granddaughter feels like one limb too many. I'm sorry. And then the things she does here and what comes out of that, I feel like it's her fault. I really do. I felt like if she kept her ass where she was supposed to be, where her mother asked her to stay, things would not have gone the way they did. Yeah, it, it, I mean, that's how it was written. But again, terrible writing. I, 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 I'm sorry, guys. I really, this is average. And the five points I'm giving it is for the acting. And I like the visuals. I like the kills. I like the sound design. And that's about it. Look at the mask. Five points. <laughs> that's about it. I, I did not like the story. I did not like the editing. I do not like what they're trying to do here. I don't like the trying to prey on my nostalgia. I don't like this whole, like I said, it feels like a soulless cash grab. It doesn't feel like a story that they initially had in mind. It just feels like, oh my God, we did not expect 2018 to do so well. We have to find a way to stretch this out. We have to find a way to keep Michael Myers going. So let's turn him, let's turn him into a supernatural entity. Never worked for me. It didn't work for me back in the old films. It doesn't work for me now. I have never liked that aspect of this storyline. I just don't. So if they can't think of smarter ways to keep him alive, they just should have made him supernatural from the word go. That's just my my opinion of the entire thing. <sighs> Halloween Kills gets a 5 out of 10. And I'm done. I'm rant over. <laughs> so if you like this video and if you like this movie, if you think it was an absolute blast, please tell me what about it really works for you. I always like to get that kind of feedback because sometimes I go in, people will say, hey, no, this is why I think this is good. And I'll go in and I'll watch it with a fresh perspective and I'll be like, you know what? I totally get that. I totally see that. But it's going to be hard to get me to change my mind. So if you like this movie, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It's always appreciated. Uh, if you're new and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you can click on my face when it pops up right about there. And you can check all past reviews if you got the time. So until the next one, guys. Bye-bye.